It's time for Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day always makes me think of Peanuts, a famous comic strip by Charles M. Schultz. It's one of the recurring themes every year, of course, as we can see from this Peanuts calendar, is that poor Charlie Brown doesn't get any Valentines. Is there anything worse than waiting all day and then not getting one Valentine? And this, by the way, is the Peanuts calendar that I showed in my video about calendars. So if you haven't seen that one, please check it out. And of course, there is a Peanuts TV special for the holiday. In fact, there are two. Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, which debuted in 1975. and A Charlie Brown Valentine, which debuted in 2002. And as you may have heard, Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown is now on Apple TV+. And of course, we also think of cards for Valentine's Day because to give someone a Valentine is by definition to give them a card. And of course, Hallmark has issued many Valentine's Day cards over the years. Here are three that I happen to have. Happiness is having you for a Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day to someone I'm immensely fond of, which is a very Peanuts way of saying I love you. I didn't say I was in love with her. I merely said I'm very fond of the ground on which she walks. We also have this one is that, that says a friend like you is hard to find. These cards are from the early 1970s, and in the late 1960s and early 1970s, there was a logo for the Peanuts line of Hallmark cards, which was Peanuts Gallery. The whole Peanuts-Hallmark connection is a big deal, because Hallmark has been a Peanuts licensee since 1960, and Peanuts is Hallmark's longest continual licensing agreement. I can hear some of you experts saying, aha, that's not true, because Hallmark has been a Disney licensee since 1932, and that's quite a bit before 1960. The key word there was continually or continuous, because even though Hallmark has issued Disney cards since 1932 to the present day, and here are some Disney Valentines, it has not been a continual agreement, because there have been periods over the years where Hallmark did not have the Disney license. So today I thought we would take a look at some of the interesting items that Hallmark has issued in addition to cards that feature the Peanuts characters. As mentioned, it all started in 1960, and since then over 1 billion Hallmark Peanuts greeting cards have been sold in over 100 countries worldwide. This led to all kinds of other products such as books, stationery, stickers, pins, party goods, all kinds of other things. We'll be getting back to Valentine's cards at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But to begin with, we have something from Hallmark that's in the party goods line, and that is placemats. Let's take one out here since this is already open, complete in the package, but open so we can take a closer look at this great art. Now again, this is from the 1970s, maybe even the 1980s. Of course, it has this great artwork, so authentic to the peanut strip and so much fun and color. It's always, it looks very summery to me. So this might have been good for a picnic table or some outdoor barbecue type thing. And there are six of them in all. It's just really fun to look at. You might recall from my Halloween video that was about Peanuts merchandise just for Halloween that Hallmark had a whole line of party goods called Plans of Party. Here's the uh, centerpiece that I showed in that video. So they had all kinds of Peanuts themed party goods such as cups, napkins, dessert plates, coasters even. And at some point, they came up with the great idea of also having placemats. Party goods are paper goods, so you would kind of expect Hallmark to be producing those. 
that here's something that you might not have expected to see, and that is a recipe box. It's really wonderful. It's, it's tin and has all kinds of peanuts art on its various sides, including the top. And of course it opens so you can put your recipes inside. That is a very special Peanuts collectible, I guess you could say. It is really fun to display and also to use for your recipes. Now I guess we could say that at least has to do with parties because you might have recipes for various foods you're going to have at the party. But what about this? Yes, it's true. A Peanuts yo-yo. Now there were four of these issued. They are all plastic with colored trick string. And Hallmark had four different designs, or maybe I should say four different characters. Nope, it says four designs to choose from. Designs was right. <laughs> Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Lucy, and Linus. And this is the Linus variety. And on the back, how to operate your Peanuts yo-yo. There are both directions and Peanuts yo-yo tricks including, of course, walking the dog. And I suspect one reason that Hallmark issued yo-yos is that perhaps they were considered a sort of party favor. So you could give these out at, at, as prizes for games at a birthday party or something like that. But that's just speculation on my part. I just think it's really cool that they had yo-yos. And I find that most unexpected. Now, some of you real Hallmark fans know that Hallmark, for many years, had a line of candles. They even had their own specific logo, Hallmark Candles. And they were issued in every sort of shape and size. And again, I guess it's true that candles at least fits in with a party theme, because, of course, you may have candles at a party. Now, were there Peanuts candles? Well, of course there were. And here's one of the best. Isn't this great? This three-dimensional Charlie Brown figure that is made of wax and has a wick at the top of his head. And it's really just so perfect. Really fun. And of course, there were other Peanuts candles as well. I'm not sure exactly when, maybe, say, 20 years ago, Hallmark stopped making candles, which I think is a shame. But it also makes having this candle even more special. Now, I promised we would get back to cards because greeting cards, of course, are the center of Hallmark's business. That's what the whole company is based on. And again, I did have these few Valentines. It's interesting to look at these because for the first, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 years of the Peanuts cards, they were issued just in these colors, which is to say black, white, and red. That was sort of the traditional Peanuts look for the Peanuts Gallery cards. There have definitely been every color you can think of added since, and maybe even during that time, but this was sort of the traditional look. So for Valentine's Day, wouldn't it be nice if I had more Valentines to show you? Well, as a matter of fact, I do, and in a very special container, I guess you could say, take a look at this. Not just Peanuts Valentines, but they came in this nifty canister. And it says Peanuts Valentines featuring characters by Charles M. Schultz. There are 18 of them in here. On the back is a Sunday page from the Peanuts comic strip, which is really, really wonderful. And of course, it's all about Charlie Brown not receiving any Valentines. Charlie Brown wondering if maybe he did get a Valentine and it was just delayed. But of course, all he gets is a kiss from Snoopy and Snoopy goes back to sleep in the mailbox and poor Charlie Brown says, I hate Valentine's Day. But there's just something so special about the way this canister is put together. And let's take a look inside. That's where these cards came from. But there are some other designs too. Here we have the envelopes as well. Let's take a look at the others. Here's Linus, could being very shy, asking if someone will be his Valentine. Here's a baseball themed one, very appropriate for Charlie Brown. Here tops in my league. And in my opinion, this is the greatest one of all. It's the most fun 
Valentine, you're out of this world with astronaut Snoopy. So that's just a brief look at some of the many Peanuts products that Hallmark issued over the years. There will be more videos with Charlie Brown and Snoopy coming up on Tulgywood TV, as well as more Hallmark. I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse of some of these Hallmark Peanuts themed products, maybe a little bit unexpected, as well as these Valentines. And if you have enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe and even share this with your friends. Don't forget there's a brand new video here at Tell You With TV every Tuesday. Our one year anniversary is coming up soon, so we're going to have lots more surprises, bonus videos, and more. So you won't want to miss it. In the meantime, happy Valentine's Day.